never sleep, he told them. But the time was such that darkness had come. The dark hour had arrived. There is something called the circadian rhythm. The biological clock. God created man with a biological clock. That's why every time it reaches night, you begin to, to doze, become drowsy and sleepy. Hallelujah. The biological clock God put in your life tells you, at this time you must sleep. You see that? So you can replenish the cerebral spinal fluid, replenish the ATP synthesis, what build up, all that, you know. So tomorrow you are invigorated, ready to go. Every time, the way God created that clock, so it is in the spirit. Every time when you see people, like if we are continuing today, we can continue up to about 11 o'clock p.m. But when 11 p.m. arrives, when the darkness becomes thicker now, much thicker, everybody will now say, dozing. You see that? That's what God warned them against at Gethsemane. Be watchful. Don't sleep. Because you don't know when he comes. You see that? In Gethsemane he said, be watchful that you may not be tempted. But what was the temptation? Because his prayer in Gethsemane was that, Father, not my will, but your will. So that, because he said, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. That's the Holy Spirit that anointed him and took him to the cross. So in other words, he was telling the remnant church, make sure you are watchful and in prayer. You see that? Because they watchful and pray, he said, that you don't fall into temptation, which means that the devil does not let your flesh overrule. Let the will of the Father overrule. You see what he said? Mm -hmm. And this is the hour for that to happen. Listen to this. Right now, the spiritual clock is 11.59 p.m. And the darkness is thicker. There is a tendency for the church to go, become drowsy and sleep at this time. Like it is in the physical that God created, so it is in the spiritual of God. You see that? I know that your, 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 your clock is telling you it is time to sleep. You are so tired, but he's saying, don't sleep at this time. Be watchful. The midnight hour is near, but the darkness is gross. Just yesterday, they opened a big door. Homosexuals from all over the world are going to wait in California. The flights are full with gay people heading to California. The door has been opened. The church is asleep, and the devil came and sowed the seed of weed, grass, inside the church. Homosexuality is in the church. She is numb to sin. She, can, she cannot feel, Ooh, that was sin. She cannot feel that. It's just another news item. Wow, California, wow. She doesn't know that means calling on the wailing woman in America to begin wailing until all of them, their eyes are covered with wet, watery, full of tears. And this is the time for the American woman to come out and cover her head with ashes and face and wear the sackcloth. False prophets are in the church. Mungiki is planning to do a national prayer, a satanic prayer in the nation. Isn't this the time for the woman to come out? Isn't the darkness gross? And this is the time when the spiritual biological clock is most likely to make the church go to sleep. So this is the time to wake up if you are the remnant. If you watch in Gethsemane, the way he rebuked them three times, did you see that? Very bitterly, he was so angrily rebuking them. You mean you could not just wait for me one more hour? You see that? He is asking the church the same thing right now. You have been Christian all this time with me. You mean now, this dying moment, this most crucial time, you could not wait for me just one more hour here now? So I may come. 
Be watchful for me. Watch out for me. Watch for me. Hallelujah. And that's what he talks about here. But what's amazing here is at the time of Noah, there was the same darkness. You see that? But Noah went out to announce the rapture door that I'm talking about. He said, look, the door is open. Look, the door is open. Soon, there is going to be a flood, a tribulation. You see that? Nobody accepted. They thought Noah was crazy. When I came to Kenya, what did they say about me? I am crazy. That's the first thing they labeled me with. Something is wrong with him. When I was prophesying the Asian tsunami, the, the first one, the big one, before it happened, they said you are absolutely out of your mind. God promised never to kill anyone with floods. That's the first thing they told me. They told Noah he was crazy when he was pointing them towards the open door. He sent me to announce the door that is open. They have called me crazy. In Matthew 22, I don't want to go there right now. I first want to go to Genesis chapter 7 verse 16. On this door. I want to begin from Genesis 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 16. Look at what he says here somebody. The animals going in. Again Genesis chapter 7 verse 16. The animals going in were male and female of everything as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut him in. Do you see the door of the rapture? Then the Lord shut him in. Noah did not shut the door. God turned around and shut the door. He brought my people, some other people he created, he left out there. Same God created them. Do you understand me now? God turned around. And the Lord shut him in. Because if Noah had shut him in, Noah would have seen, Oh, oh, that is Zachary. Nani? Oh, he, the, we, we can share here. He gave us bread the other day when we had a guest. Oh, just allow only one. Please open for Zachary only. He did not allow men to shut the door. Men would have been sympathetic. You understand? Do you understand what Isaiah saw? Yes. And her slain she cannot conceal any longer. The blood that has dropped on her, the earth, will all now be disclosed. Her evil will come out. Because the sinful one will be judged. Tribulation. Is somebody walking with me? Hmm? And you see here that God himself shuts the rapture door. God himself. I know every day you say, oh, me when I'm tired of things, I just go to Christ, I just be with him. Me, I just want to be with him. That day, he will shut the door on you. You will discover another nature of Christ you have not known. Hallelujah. If you read the book of Revelation I just read, it says, Flaming flames are coming from his eyes like swords. You see that? That means you are now seeing another countenance of the Lord. Another character of Christ. Hallelujah. Listen to this. That door is open right now. Ever since he sent me, it is open. Why wouldn't you enter? You have to enter now. If there is anything, any yeast that has been corrupting your walk with the Lord, this is the time to clean it out. You see that? I like saying this, if you allow me, can I? I like using Israel. Again, when I was in Israel, you know, when God went to save Israel in Egypt, He sent Moses, right? And He told Moses, at the midnight hour, I will come. 